Repeating the breaking news of this hour, Special Prosecutor Jack Smith in a court filing has indicated that he has handed over to Donald Trump's criminal defense attorneys the grand jury testimony of witnesses who will testify for the government in the trial of this case. That means tonight Donald Trump and his lawyers have the names and the full grand jury testimony of every witness who will testify against Donald Trump for the prosecution in this trial. I'm going to ask Senator Sheldon Whitehouse about that in a moment. He's a former federal prosecutor. But first, the latest Supreme Court problem. Republican-appointed Supreme Court justices appear to really hate one thing about their jobs, the paycheck. Supreme Court justices are paid $285,400 per year, with the chief justice getting about $13,000 more than that. And the Republican-appointed justices who want to live like billionaires simply have to cozy up to billionaires, as we have seen Clarence Thomas has done for many, many years. And ProPublica's latest reporting, and what is now a series on the most corrupt Supreme Court ever publicly exposed, reveals that Republican-appointed Justice Samuel Alito failed to disclose a hugely expensive trip to a fishing lodge in Alaska with a Republican billionaire named Paul Singer. ProPublica reports that Paul Singer flew Alito to Alaska on a private jet. If the justice charted the plane himself, the cost could have exceeded $100,000 one way. In the years that followed, Singer's hedge fund came before the court at least 10 times in cases where his role was often covered by the legal press and mainstream media. In 2014, the court agreed to resolve a key issue in a decade-long battle between Singer's hedge fund and the nation of Argentina. Alito did not recuse himself from the case and voted with the 7-to-1 majority in Singer's favor. The hedge fund was ultimately paid $2.4 billion. Justice Alito refused to answer ProPublica's questions emailed to him on Friday and instead published a piece in the Wall Street Journal late last night before the ProPublica report was published to try to defend himself against the damning revelations he knew would be in the article. He insisted that there was no way he could possibly know that his billionaire friend was a litigant before the Supreme Court because the billionaire's name was hidden in a maze of corporate entities involved in the litigation, which is one very good reason why Supreme Court justices should just never hang with billionaires. Because billionaires own a lot of things and they own a lot of corporate entities, and corporate entities are the main thing the main thing that ends up in litigation in the United States Supreme Court. Joining us now is Senator Sheldon Whitehouse of Rhode Island. He is a member of the Senate Judiciary Committee, and he is now, uh, he's also the chairman of the Budget Committee, and importantly, uh, he is the host of the Making the Case podcast. Uh, Senator Whitehouse, I want to begin with the breaking news of the night. You're a former U.S. attorney, former federal prosecutor. We have Jack Smith handing over, it seems like, basically the entire case at this point tonight to Donald Trump and his criminal defense lawyers. All of the grand jury testimony of the witnesses who will testify against Donald Trump. What does that tell you about where this case is tonight? It tells me that uh, the special counsel thinks he's got a very solid case and he doesn't need to be cute. He can be what prosecutors call open kimono and turn over all the evidence early. Uh, it tells me that it's going to be bad Christmas for the Trump lawyers as they open the different files of evidence and find out how awful the evidence is against their client. It tells me that they want to stay well ahead of Judge Cannon and make sure there can be no complaint about their early disclosure. And it tells me that they want to get Trump's attention early by getting his lawyers the evidence that they need to be able to go to their client and say, hey, you are in real trouble here. And Senator, uh, Justice Alito is the latest uh, Supreme Court justice trying to live like a billionaire and apparently uh, violating disclosure rules in the process. Yeah, I mean, you've got all the basic food groups here. You've got the right-wing activist billionaires who care about outcomes at the court. You've got a Federalist Society justice. You've got wildly extravagant gifts. 
you've got untoward and probably illegal secrecy. And for the cherry on top, you've got Leonard Leo, the billionaire's court fixer, uh, arranging the deal. You just can't make this up. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, thank you very much for joining us again tonight. Uh, our time's been cut short by this breaking news from, from Jack Smith. Thank you very much for joining us.